Hello everyone, my name is Superslide, and today we are checking out a mod pack known as Cave Factory. And the way that it is similar to Stone Block, you have a lot more room in a mob spawner, and it's created by Tismas. I found this mod very interesting while browsing around on Curse Forge, and I wanted to try it out. It has an interesting start, because once you start getting pebbles, you can see you make cobblestone, but instead of the way Stone Block would generally do it, all you have to do is throw cobblestone on the floor to get some wood making it really easy to get wood early on in the game. It has some really unique mods such as Create and Twilight Forest and also it has a unique crafting UI when it comes to most of the re uh, recipes and ways to make things. I accidentally wanted to make a cobblestone crafting table and ended up making stone bricks on accident. <laughs> so luckily enough we have a quest book that helps us with our progression during in this mod. It is very useful. And as I'm demonstrating here, I am dropping the cobblestone and hoping to get some wood to start off. As you can see, I'm struggling and trying to turn the chat a little bit op less opaque so y'all can see a little bit more here. I don't know why the creators added a mini-map in the top right, especially since you're in such a small place. I don't know if you might forget something, but I thought it was a weird thing to add. Anyways, let's start off with making a crafting table. There's also the Tinker's Construct mod which allows you to make custom weapons, tools, and armors. It's very cool, especially when you get late game in the mod. It has a lot of unique recipes and combinations that add different various effects to your character or your tools. Here we're starting off with the Tinker's Construct Basics. The crafting station, tool station, and the pattern station. So this mod pack is a 1.16.5 mod pack and you need Forge to download it and run it. We're going to start off by getting some stone. And the unique part about this mod is when you mine stone you get random cobblestones and ores. But diamonds, emeralds, and etc. have a higher chance to obtain so it means you have to mine a little bit more to get some of those high valued resources. As you can see, there's some diamond ore right there. Issue is, we do not have a high enough pickaxe to break the ores, so we have to get at least a iron pickaxe or a diamond sharpening tool. Now we're going to build our first pickaxe. But first, we need a tinker station. One of the main necessities of this mod, which allows you to craft all the weapons you need to. So thankfully, the mob developer, Tismouse, added a way to get wood really easy, so getting that was a breeze. And now let's design our first stone pickaxe. I think this isn't much of achievement since, you know, there's stone everywhere, but it's the first starting point in the journey of this world, and it's really interesting to know. And I accidentally crafted the wrong tool rod. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. And there we are. Our first stone pickaxe, which has opened up a gateway and a ton of stuff for us to do. Probably need to check the, the quest book for the rewards that we get. I was messing around with this mod and it adds a lot of upgradable things like you can upgrade your furnaces and your chest to 
have more storage. Just like that upgrade there. And right now I'm gonna add that little diamond sharpening thing in my pickaxe and now I can mine stuff higher than diamonds. Really useful in, you know, mining the higher tier ores. Now we're gonna make a hatchet for wood later in this. There we go. That's what you see there, the um, upgraded chest. It has 256 more slots in it. It's very useful. Just mining on, mining up some walls. I'm going to probably terraform a little bit, make it a little more roomy, and add subsections to this. Meaning I'm going to have maybe a certain section for create mod, certain section for twilight forest, a certain for instance, certain section for the quark mod just to kind of show off the packs that are in this and as you'll see later as we play we get a lot of weird wacky items from the hundreds of mods in this so it's gonna be interesting to figure out how they work I'm fairly new to this. I've played a little bit of it and I found this mod very interesting. I recommend it because it I know it's pretty claustrophobic with the stone everywhere and no outside sky or trees or anything like that. But it's more of a grindy factory kind of mod. Similar to games like factory.io and satisfactory. And even a little bit of mind industry in there. basically starting off manually and then grinding towards more automatic resource grinding. Just trying to get some ore smelted up real quick. Here we go. First ingot of iron. Very useful. Sooner or later we'll be able to upgrade our furnace and make it smelt a little faster. I don't think it'll preserve as much coal as a normal furnace, but it'll at least make our efforts a little quicker. terraforming here. So if you were wondering um, what it, basically what this does is with the multitude of items that you're obtaining, you need a lot of storage space. And so this is what this mod's all about. It's generally just trying to find um, a storage kind of setting where we need more items and we need to store more items. So we need to get items to make items. <laughs> I'm just creating more patterns real quick. I'm starting to think about attacking the zombies at the spawner and hopefully getting some rotten flesh, which will help us get some mob drops later in the future. We will be able to use those mob drops to our advantage with directional plates and sails, which allow us to get faster power, and the plates allow us to push the mobs to a particular area. What I just did for a little bit was I started terraforming the world and adding little tunnel sections like I said earlier. <coughs> and I'm 
trying to craft an item known as the Dank, which allows you to auto pick up items and is a little bit of a better solution as a backpack. Storing miscellaneous items in there. Little lights back there. There we go. Go for it right now. Alrighty. I'm just setting it to when we get certain amounts of these cobblestones. We will be a. It'll just teleport in there, and we'll be able to grab it out later. Really useful for inventory management because you're going to need a lot of inventory space, especially with all the modded items. And over there in the little corner, you can see that there's a little bit of tunnel ma being made, and I'm thinking about adding a windmill bearing over there to generate some power. And this window windmill bearing is from the Create mod. It's a very unique mod in that it has a amazing kind of factory vibe to it. And that it allows for the consumption of power and the management of it so you don't make too much power or you don't overstress parts of your build which is not good when especially when you're thinking of big factories and stuff and your main source of power is too weak or is overstressed so it's kind of good to have some management there this down a little further. We need to add some sails to the side of it. can't start the contraption yet because I don't have any sails to it, connected to it. And one of the unique items for this mod is known as an andesite alloy, which you, since you only get cobbled andesite, you'd have to smelt it up and craft it with two iron ingots and two andesite to create an andesite alloy. It is the basic starter of this entire mod of create. As you just saw there, we get the magnet, which allows us to get that the drops from the zombies that we kill over there at the spawner for making the dank. And as you can see, there is a red little rod on my pickaxe. That is a haste rod, which you can make with redstone, 45 of it, to be precise. And what it allows you to do is just mine a little faster really useful, especially when you're only mining stone. Let's kill more zombies for some food. Because they seem to be the only source of food around here. And maybe we can get a... Um, that you could drop rotten flesh on the floor to get other mob drops, which is really useful, especially when you have infinite rotten flesh and have infinite mob drops. That means wool and the pearls and gunpowder aren't that much of a struggle now. Because the stone block, what you'd have to do is you'd have to build a mob spawner using the thing you fire out from your base and putting up water and stuff just to make sure that mob starts spawning for you. I have no idea what I'm doing here, I'm going to be totally honest. It's a mod that I did not see previously in the pack, so hopefully they updated the pack so we can check it out later. Alright, we have enough rotten flesh to drop it. 
and wait for it to turn into other mob drops. There it goes. We got some XP out of that in the quest book. Now we're going to start on making those sails. Fortunately, I forgot that the magnet was still on and activated, so had to throw those out a, a few far blocks away. There they are, the sail frames. Now we can use those to generate power from the windmill bearing. And the wrench is really helpful too, because with the create mod, what the wrench allows you to do is rotate the contraptions and the schematic designs and all that. Allowing for easy quality of life improvement, especially when building with the create blocks. Probably made too many sail frames because I'm digging out a far bit here, but isn't that, it's glad to have more than not enough. So, at least we got that. Now we can start Senior emulator by now, generating power to power the multitude of machines in this mod pack. Especially getting the grinders, which allow you to turn ores into crush versions, and having a chance to get more of that ore, and also maybe getting some encased fans to then blow water onto the ore, the crushed ores, to then get more of that ore. Create is just kind of like, gives you a lot more of what you need and what you don't as well. Also very complicated mod. There we go. Windmill bearing is activated, and now we are receiving power. Now I'm looking towards to getting the blood altar, which allows us to kill zombies and then use the experience from those zombies to basically make other items such as leather, grass, dirt, and wool. This is going to be useful later on because once we are done using our sail frames we can upgrade them with the wool and get more power. We got lucky on those two rotten fleshes, none of them were poisoned, so we got our saturation back. Fortunately, I didn't have any smelted stone on me at the time, so now I gotta go smell some more stone. Too Many Items mod is the mod that you see on the right which displays recipes for all the modded items. Very useful, especially in a mod pack that you don't understand quite yet. Helps with understanding the basics of the mod. I can't craft right. <laughs> Thank you. 
in here we are using large and small cogs to basically change how fast the cogs go by putting them in a big to small cog rotation and increasing the speed allowing us to have our processes a little faster for right now I'm thinking on making a mill millstone which allows us to grind up basically what the crusher can do but more to a one-to-one -one scale. As the crusher can do stacks of items, this can only do one. And there's our blood altar. We place it by the zombies and using the quest book we obtain the dagger of sacrifice which allows us to turn the experience from the zombies into blood. With this blood we can turn granite blocks into dirt blocks and allow us to actually gain some more edible items like wheat and berries. And by dropping the dirt onto the floor and waiting 20 to 30 seconds it will give us a variety of plants like cactus, sugarcane, and carrots and potatoes. More nonchalant stuff but still very useful in an environment where you can't just grow crops on the fly. diamond and the blood altar gives us a weak blood orb which allows us to make the wool and leather I was talking about earlier and the rewards for that is five clocks and five sugar and what the clocks and sugar do is when added to the mob spawner it increases the amount of zombies spawn and the spawn rate of those zombies Unfortunately, I didn't have enough blood, so oh, there we go. Our first dirt block. Thankfully, the next quest is just to obtain wheat, so all we need is a wood hoe and just till the ground and grow the wheat. And we will obtain the item known as the cutting board. And in this mod, we also mod pack, we also have a twerk to grow mod which allows us to grow food faster just by crouching sooner or later we can actually get fertilizer or material to fertilize the ground and make that not having the hassle to crouch over and over again and unfortunately get the dreaded sticky keys but I had bone meal on me so we don't have to worry about it And right here, I'm just going to my controls and allowing me to equip my trinket, which apparently allows me to get luck two for eternity. Basically what the trinkets are, it's a rare chance of obtaining a little bauble that allows you to get certain stat effects, like climbing walls or obtaining more experience, which also is very useful late game. So the more you play, the more things you acquire. And they get the wheat blood orb. We need 2,000 millibuckets of blood. So, more at the zombie grinder. And there we go. Just gonna wait for that. And as those plates I was talking about earlier, they'll be pushing mobs into, sooner or later, into an area where we can increase the size of our blood altar because there are multiple tiers to it. Oops, it deals damage to you and you can obtain life points. Using those life points we can sooner or later create lava and lava is going to be useful for going into the nether and creating cobblestone generators. But the f 
weird part about this mod is that cobblestone generators have a 50% chance to create stone, so you can actually get ores and cobblestone blocks out of it. So it's, it's nice and handy to have. Here, I'm trying to make that mill again. And with the and with the mill, we're going to be able to create some glass, which is useful for many create items. Whoops, I placed it wrong. And yeah, now we have a item that's able to grind all of our ores into crushed ores, but a little bit slower. So sooner or later we'll be getting the crusher. And I think that's going to be it. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. And sooner or later we advance in this mod.